Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. I bring you our CollegeSportingNews.com Game of the Week preview between the Illinois State Redbirds and the Indiana State Sycamores. Let's look at Illinois State in this ball game. The Redbirds come in defensively very aggressive, and it's imperative that they win on first down this week versus Indiana State. You got to get these guys off the field. They want to run the football. They want to chew up the clock. You win on first down, you put these guys in backed up situations, and that's a win for that defense. And also, you look at your own offense. I say that no huddle approach, that sugar huddle type of, sugar huddle type of approach works well versus an aggressive defense like the Sycamores. That way, you keep that same personnel on the field. You may not hurry up, but you are at the line of scrimmage, forcing these guys to stay in that same personnel. Now, you look at Indiana State in this ball game. I look at their offense. I look at Mike Parrish and that receiving core having to make some plays throwing the football. And I also look at that offensive line versus Illinois State's defensive front. They come in with 31 sacks this year. Indiana State has to make sure they protect and they also keep that running game on pace. And also they can do that by spreading out the formation, widening out that formation, widens out that pressure, forces those guys to widen out their gap responsibilities and then you're able to run the football with Shakir Bell, one of the best running backs in the country. Huge game right here, big battle right now in conference. I actually like Illinois State because of the fact they can throw the football and that defensive line is very impressive. Like I said, they live in the backfield. I think they'll cause enough disruption for their running game for Indiana State to where they get that extra possession on offense. I think they'll do a great job of playing keep away from the Sycamores.